Friends in Low Places, uh, better known as the ultimate Garth Brooks experience, has been wowing Garth Brooks fans across Ireland for almost two years now. And this weekend, the show returns to Bicker Street in Dublin. Joining us this morning is the star of the show himself, country singer Trevor Smith, who, according to reviews, delivers the best Garth Brooks tribute show in Europe, no less. Trevor, good morning to you. Good morning. You. That's some claim to fame. <laughs> <laughs> we do the best we can. You do a damn good job, and it's no easy task. I mean, Garth Brooks, we were just discussing there how big his show is and how big he is, and maybe Mark made a good point. If you haven't been to a show, you don't understand how huge the show is. This is rock and roll grand scale. Yeah, well, it's, it's country it, music well, as yeah, rock and roll. As rock and roll, scale, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, for me, Garth Brooks is the guy who, who said you don't have to stand in one place when you sing country music. You, it's okay to move around. It's okay to put on a show. So that's what I love about it, you know. And boy, does he put on a show. Yeah, he does. He knows how to move. And I tell you, he's a big guy. He's a fit bloke. You know, the um, how did this all kick start off? Because I, you were more interested in football and stuff like that than you That's were. That's a fact, yeah. <laughs> I was more interested in football and hurling, and, and really didn't start singing until I was well in my 20s, you know. So mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to tell you the story that I started playing the violin at three or something. I don't have that story. <laughs> no, I didn't really get into, get into it as I raised in a young family, and sport was really it. That was my weekends, training a couple of times a week, sport was it, and then just started singing and, and, and loved it, you know. You the idea. You just so when you like didn't karaoke get karaoke, or this is it. Um, I used to go for a pint, of course, yeah. And uh, there was a guy singing there, and he used to always call me up. Eamon Toll, Eamon sang in the Eurovision for Ireland. But Eamon used to call me up and to do a song. And so after a couple of times this happened, he said to me, "You know what, man? You should probably get yourself a bit of gear there and do this yourself." So I said, "Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Why not?" So I started into it, and uh, that's where it took off from, you know. When, when you, um, and obviously, it, you know, it got bigger and bigger and better. Um, but when you're going to put together something like a Garth Brooks show, it's not just being able to sing the songs or even mm. look like him or sound like him. You have to put the whole experience in. It's a bit like, for example, the, you know, the, the Pink Floyd tribute bands. You need all the screens, you need all the, the, the stuff that goes with it yeah. because you're, people are going to feel shortchanged otherwise. Otherwise, it just becomes karaoke. That's right. So that's, you know, that's not you know, a bunch of fellas having a bit of crack in mead on a weekend. Mm. That's a serious professional <laughs> it, it, it operation. Has been, it has been a lot of work, yeah. We, 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 we've really worked hard to get it right. And, but in saying that, to get it right, how do I put this? I don't want to go over the top trying to sound like Garth Brooks. I don't talk with an American accent in between songs. I don't so you're not in character. Yeah. No, I don't <laughs> over try. You know, I, I'm, I'm a Mead man, I'm an Irish man. I don't <laughs> try to... I've seen some tribute shows where guys go over the top and they hang on to notes and put on a twang or an accent. And I don't want to do that. This is about the spirit of Garth Brooks it's, rather than sounding exactly we like We are doing a tribute to Garth Brooks and his songs and his music and that's what I want to do. Mm. And I know that the people who come to see a Garth Brooks show are there for a good time and a party. But do you know the best thing for you over the last two years, of course, is that he retired. Um, <laughs> ten, yeah, he's making a comeback. Ten, I better get years gigs ago, in. He did his first comeback gig was in the Bridgestone Arena in 2010 and I think, believe he's coming back out on the road again. So I don't know whether that's going to kill your business or whether it's actually going to well, boost it. you never know. I'll probably have to talk to him both when he gets over. <laughs> Yeah. Now you're going to sing us a song as well. Yeah, we're going to do a song. Yeah, uh, we've got to get um, We're going to bring your guitarist. Dave, Dave Arkins. We've got Dave to too. Me, and yeah. um, in terms of showstoppers, what's the one that's? Uh, is there one song that the, the show hangs on? Is there one that you can't get away with not doing? Or um, I presume that the encore is. Well, this one we're going to do now. You yeah. wouldn't get away without doing it, you know. But uh, I couldn't say that I've got a favourite song. I mean, when you start a Garth Brooks song, the crowd sort of just takes over anyway, you know. Trying to, trying to concentrate on my own bit and remember the words when they start singing. I mean, for me, it's amazing. Like, to, to do Vicar Street now with 1,000 people is going to be something. But for him, 70,000 people in Crow Park, how did the Three nights that I saw it was extraordinary. Yeah, it's just unreal. This is the song, I think, that made people uh, realise that he was more than just a country singer. He was more than just a hat, because this transcended musical genres. It transcended, it was in the country charts for ages, then it was in the pop charts, then it just became a standard. Mm. It's the dance. Yes. In your own time, sir. Trevor Smith, off you go. Looking back on the memory of the dance we shared beneath the stars above, and for a moment, all the world was right. How could I have known that you'd ever say goodbye? And I am glad I didn't know the 
way it all would end, the way it all would go. Our lives are better left to chance. I could have missed the pain that I'd have had to miss the dance. Holding you, I held everything for a moment. Wasn't I king? And if I'd only known how the key would fall, yeah, who's to say? You know, I might have changed it all.